I want to talk a little bit about an app for Android tablets and smartphones called DSLR Controller. Uh, they've recently updated and it's become a lot less buggy and it's really working quite nicely. I've used it with a T4i, T5i, 5D Mark III. Uh, and the other night for the first time I tried a feature that has been there for a while I think but I just hadn't tried it yet and that is wireless control. Now let's talk about what you need for this all to work and then I'll walk through setting it up and also show you one of the other nice features that's now been added to DSLR controller. So obviously you need a camera. Right now I believe this app only works with Canon cameras um, and you need the camera. You need the little USB cord that comes with the camera and it's just got that, I think this USB or something, USB-B uh, plug on the side there. That plugs in here on the side. You need a USB host cable. On one side is the micro USB that goes into your Android phone, and on the other side is your standard USB socket. And so I'm going to just plug that into the other end. I've also successfully used this with longer USB cables, so you're not limited. You can stick another kind of extension cable in there in between. I've got this Amazon Basics, and it's exactly what I just said. It's a USB extension cable. So, um, but we don't need that right now because we're going to go wireless. So I'm going to plug this into a Nexus 7 tablet and wake up the camera. go. And now I'm going to switch to the screen here so you can see what I'm doing. And it says detected problematic. This is because I have back button focus on, but it is okay. I'm just going to click okay. And now we are seeing what this camera sees, which is very unexciting because the lens cap is on. So let's take that off. There we go. We're sitting on the table here and you can see that it's starting to focus right away. Let's stick the lens cap underneath so it's Point it up a little bit higher. Sure, that's exciting enough. Okay, so there's a lot of options going on around the side of this screen, but right now I'm in manual mode on the dial, and I can, of course, uh, tap to change my shutter speed, and you can see the screen brighten as a result because we're getting that live view feedback. I can change my aperture. I can change my ISO. Let's go all the way up to 6400 and watch that we blow this out very quickly because we're now, we made the sensor way too sensitive for the amount of light that's coming in here. Let's go back to 100 and that looks quite nice. You can even change your focus points um, by just touching. You should be able to touch. There we go. It's a double touch and a drag to change your focus point. Now I, you can see the little square. I'm now focused down on the right-hand corner of this plant tray. So that's all pretty nifty. But where it gets more exciting is if we go into the settings icon. Oh, it's stuck on focusing. Still a little buggy. There we go. We go in here. We have a lot of different options. We have uh, control. You can control how long the camera takes the shot for. We do have some time-lapse functions in here. It's not as nice as the Trigger Trap, uh, which works with Android and iOS, but then again, Trigger Trap doesn't do live view. So both of these do different things. But here we got Wi-Fi pass-through mode, become a Wi-Fi server for DSLR controller. I'm gonna click that. And now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my phone over, and I am going to launch DSLR controller on my phone and same thing okay now we're on the phone and we are streaming from the Nexus tablet to the phone so you do need two Android devices there's no reason why you couldn't use an older Android phone you may have laying around the house that is no longer uh, you know has service but if it still has Wi-Fi it can set up and be used as your kind of Wi-Fi slave here um, or as the trigger and it's very similar to what I was just doing a minute ago I have control and I can change my shutter speed I can change my ISO there is just a little bit more lag when you're working through this because it's got to send it through the tablet over Wi-Fi but um, 
it's not something either of these apps or e either directly or with Wi-Fi that you're going to be using to photograph high-speed sports, but it's pretty nifty. Let me show you one more thing that I think is really nice that is the new feature I mentioned, and that is if you take a picture, now it's going to be kind of on the slow side, but if you take a picture, it will then download that image that you've taken to your device, or at least a preview of it brings it up, and now you can tap the gear icon and you can share this image, you can transfer it to your local storage, and there you can see that it's transferring that image. And we now have this image on my phone. So again, I'm always looking for ways, I love the iFi card, it's very nice, wireless, beam your pictures straight from your camera to your phone. Um, but I'm always looking for different ways to do this, especially ways that are very reliable uh, and not battery intensive. And this is simply, this very similar to plugging your phone, your camera into your computer and downloading the images off. So it, it does it in the same way. So if you're traveling and you wanted to travel very light without computer, this would be a way to be able to pull some of those images off while you're out in the field or out on your vacation shooting. So this was the DSLR controller app. You needed a, a Canon camera, that USB cord, the USB host cable, and if you want to do the Wi-Fi, you need two Android devices, one to act as kind of the slave and one to act as the actual trigger. If you've got any questions about this, just give me a shout. I have a link down to the DSL controller website. They have lots more information. There are specific USB host cables that you should get for different devices, and they have a nice little list there. If um, I've found that this one here, I'll link to it on Amazon, uh, has worked perfectly for both my uh, Galaxy Nexus 3 and this Asus um, Nexus 7 tablet. Uh, and uh, yeah, hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. Thanks for watching.